We've all heard that perfect snare sound. A sound with beef, crack and resonance. You can be fooled into thinking you need a 400, 500, 600 pound or more snare drum just to sound like the pros. But with Evans' new tune-up kit, you can turn your snare into a leading musical instrument. I'm here with Ben from Didario to talk us through it. So Evans are known for innovations such as the EMAD and the ST dry head. Uh, and now they've come up with a brand new concept of giving drummers all they need in one easy pack to sort out their snare drum. Why did they feel like they needed to make it? We wanted to produce a product which was an all-in-one box set, um, which features all of the consumable parts of a snare drum um, and really highlight to drummers the importance of not just changing out your batter head, but also changing out your snare side head, your wires, um, and also offer the tools within one box to allow you to change all of those elements. The main idea is showing drummers that you can take a basic snare and you can add these consumable elements and produce a sound from that basic snare that would rival some of the high-end snares out on the market. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay, should we have a look and see what's inside? Absolutely, let's dive in. Well, it looks, uh, it looks great. It looks great. Mm -hmm. Instantly, you see these instructions here, all very cleanly stated, really. Very much for the beginner drummer to really break down part by part what they need to do for their snare drums to get that sound they're after. Yeah, so that instructional diagram was it was very intentional that we we break it down visually as to how to change heads wires um, and how to service your drums because unlike guitarists who learn to mm. restring the guitars and how to tune pretty much out of the gate it's first yeah. lesson with drums that's not so much the case once you're playing rock beat one yeah. the focus really isn't on tuning drums and to 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 be fair um to most teachers you know they're, they're often dealing with drum kits that maybe don't sound great but mm. you can still practice that physical element of drumming but somebody new to the drumming world where do you start there's so many drum head options we offer over 20 uh, snare drum batter heads alone you know then you add the variables of different shells, it, it's, a, it's a minefield for, for, for new players. So yep. with this initial release, we didn't want to offer too many options because that would just confuse people. So with that in mind, you've chosen two heads here that are quite distinct to each other. Uh, why did you choose these two variants? So the first set over on our left-hand side, the UV1 um, snare tune-up kit, this platform for, for Batterhead is a 10 mil film with a, a coating on top. Now that's industry standard, that's what comes with most snare drums mm -hmm. out of the factory. However, the UV head, which we can dive into in more detail, um, features a completely new coating technology. So this utilizes a drum head platform that everybody is familiar with mm -hmm. and will cover a, a, a wide range of styles from blues to slam metal to everything in between. In terms of the, the, the head itself, uh, the tone itself, we developed UV1 to basically be a super version of our G1. So okay. single ply coated head. The problem with standard coated heads is the, the process in which we coat that film is quite messy. It is time consuming as well, because we have to take a, a clear head, we have to spray it in a spray booth. Mm -hmm. We then have to leave it to set. We then have to bake it. So it, all of those processes take time. Yeah. Um, with the UV technology, it's a much cleaner application. So we use a UV ink, which we screen print onto the, onto the head, mm -hmm. and we set that ink with a UV light, hence, the name UV. The one stands for the single ply. Ultimately, what we found with that coating is it's a lot more consistent across the head. Okay. So you don't get clumps that you might find on the coating if we use a spray gun um, to, to apply the coating. So by using this screen printing technique, we go through a very fine mesh. And that fine mesh means that the, the texture is consistent. We went through a lot of different versions of meshes until mm. we got that kind of perfect coating. So the UV 
coatings on our UV range of heads lasts two to three, three to four times longer, um, dependent wow. on the style of drummer. Obviously, heavy hitters are going to wear through heads yeah. quicker than most. But um, what you will find with the UV coating versus sprayed coatings that you'll find on our G1s and our G2s is the, the coating stays attached to the film for longer. Mm -hmm. So you, you will notice on any standard uh, coated head the wear that you get in the centre. I've seen that. I've, yeah, happens with, a lot. With UV1, it happens over a much longer period of time. Okay. The other thing is with uh, the, the UV1 specifically, we use a 10 mil film, but we use a, a unique film to UV1. Mm -hmm. Now, this film's much less susceptible to deflection. So when I say deflection, it's denting the head. The coating adds mass to the film. So it slightly lowers the fundamental note, but it also adds an element of control to the drum head. And this is why you'll find coated heads primarily on snare drums mm -hmm. out of the box, is snare drums are tuned slightly higher mm -hmm. in tension, so therefore they, they, they have a bit more inherent resonance. But the UV1 platform really covers lots of different styles of music and works with lots of different types of snare drums. We wanted something that was quite generic in terms of the spec of the drum heads, but we wanted to introduce people to our newer technologies. So it's kind of the super version of our G1, for, for want of a better word. Okay, and then in the complete opposite camp, we've got calf tone. Exactly. Calf tone is enough of a distinction between the UV1. We wanted to offer two very distinct sonic options within the box sets. Mm. Uh, so with calf tone, we use a slightly thinner film as the platform. And how, how thin is that film? So the film's seven mil, and then we bond a polyspun material on top of that. And the idea with the polyspun material is to replicate a hide drum head. So this is drum heads from back in the day before um, polyester film heads. Mm -hmm. So pre-1956, drum heads would generally be made out of some sort of animal hide. Now, the problem with animal hide is it's susceptible to temperature change and humidity. Mm -hmm. So you might show up at a gig and your drum's really tight yeah. because it's been sat in a cold or a warm environment or vice versa. The drums detune themselves without you touching them. So really, the hide head was an unreliable platform. However, they had a lovely warm sound to them. Yeah. So the idea with calf tone was to replicate that hide head drum sound, but on the more consistent platform of a polyester film. Okay. And this is where we're at with it. So um, this generally is going to give you more of a vintage tone, slightly warmer sound, less overtones compared to the UV one over here, which mm -hmm. is more bright, more open, more modern. Mm -hmm. So you can think of this as kind of a modern pack and a classic or vintage sounding pack. Lovely. Well, I know the vintage sound is coming back stronger and stronger, it feels every year really yeah. uh should we dig into the kit so what yeah so let's what let's first? go through so obviously we've um we've popped the box open the first thing that you were presented with um are the snare wires mm -hmm. so within your pack there miles you've got the custom pro mm -hmm. uh 14 inch 20 strand snare drum wires mm -hmm. um <clears throat> snare drum wires are something that i personally think of the the underdog yeah. in the drum upgrade world um, a lot of people just deal with the snare wires that were provided with the kit and buying a premium set of wires and upgrading that part of the drum mm. it's really night and day between the sensitivity of the drum you know the the the, the brightness the resonance yeah. if you have a really well made set of wires um, you get a much more consistent snare sound and, and much more sensitive tone. And it allows the shell to breathe a little bit more. So it helps the drum, not just from the, the snare mm -hmm. point of view, but the overall sound of the drum. Um, and this was the reason why we included uh, the Pure Sound wires in with the box set. So not a lot of people know that Dodario also, also own Pure Sound. Uh, we have done for, for over 20 years. So what you will see in this pack is the Pure Sound wires have now adopted the Evans logo. In terms of the Custom Pro wires, yep. uh, they feature a low mass end plate here. Mm -hmm. And the idea with that is it, it, there's not too much plate to head contact. So the idea with the Custom Pro snare wires is we don't have too much metal to head 
contact other than the wires themselves. The actual tone. You yeah. Want. So if if you talk about the end plates on on snare wires, end plates can potentially choke the drum, mm -hmm. especially if you over tighten wires. So you'll notice on the custom pro wires, these have basically a little bend on each corner. Yeah. And that is the only contact plate of the copper plating on the on the snare side. So that means okay. that. All of the contact is wires only, mm -hmm. apart from those four corners. The calf tone pack, that actually comes with a concert wire mm -hmm. versus the Custom Pro. So the concert wire is a more traditional end plate. Um, so that offers a little bit more control. Mm -hmm. Now, not to forget, this pack is geared towards giving you more of a vintage sound. So we don't want to go too modern in the design of the actual wires themselves. Yeah. But by going for a 14 inch 16 strand, generally a lot of vintage drums come with slightly less wires. And there's a number of reasons behind that. Mm -hmm. um, but with that vintage sound, we don't want to put like too many wires on there because it just wouldn't sound like a vintage drum. So by having less wires, you get a slightly snappier snare sound um, without too much snare buzz. Obviously, the more wires you add to a snare wire, yeah. the snarier it becomes. And it's 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 really as simple as that. Yeah. You know, the, the, the less wires you have, then the more tone from the shell itself you'll get. So I tend to find wood shell drums work very well with wires with less yeah, I can imagine. less strands on them. Mm -hmm. Whereas modern day drums um, tend to benefit from slightly more wires. Um, and, and obviously you can, you can go down that rabbit hole and you can pick and choose wires that have 30 strands in our range yeah. or you can choose a 12 strand in our range. These are kind of a nice middle ground. So mm -hmm. like I said, again, that that custom pro reflects the modern sound. Mm -hmm. The concert wire reflects that vintage tone. And this is the first release of pure sound wires under the Evans accessory oh, okay, line. Okay. Um, and this is how the, st the, the standard pure sound stock will start coming through. But the box set, again, it, we're using this to present some of the newer packaging. There's a few other products within the box set, which we'll get to in a second, yep. which are also new release, and we wanted to make them available in the box set first of all. And that's that's the main consideration. And both have a snare side 300. What was the uh, the choice behind the 300? So 300, again, sticking with industry standard film thicknesses. Mm -hmm. um, three mil head is like the perfect storm for working with snare wires. So the idea with the snare side heads, some people will refer to these as hazy heads. Um, this needs to be much thinner than the batter head, but if you go too thin, it means they're susceptible to being damaged very easily. So if you're sticking your snare drum on a snare basket and you don't quite get it right, you can Straight quite through. easily go through a very thin one. So three mil, it's a, it's, it's a third of the thickness of a batter head, mm -hmm. but the idea with the, th the three mil film is it, it vibrates very, very quickly, but it also dissipates very quickly. Yep. So if we were to put, for example, a calf tone or a UV one on the snare side, mm -hmm. there are there are much thicker heads. So we hit the drum, um, the snare side resonates, and it would keep going if it was that thickness. With the three mil film, um, it vibrates very quickly, but it also dissipates very quickly. So yeah. the idea with this is you hit the drum, the snare side head vibrates, activates the wires, and then gets out of there. The um, wires are big enough to stop the vibration because it's such a thin head. Yeah, so it's kind of the thickness of the, the film and the wire work in conjunction to give you that really kind of short, sharp staccato um, tone. And obviously you can, you can dial in the wires mm -hmm. one way or the other using the, the, the tensioner on the, the side of the strainer. Um, but in terms of a three mil head, this is again an industry standard um, fitting to most snare drums that come out of the factory. But this is based on our Evans platform, utilizing the 360 collar mm -hmm. um, and our rollover hoop. So it's, it's, it's a much better head than what you would get stock yep. on most drums out of the box. Well, you can even hear it. I don't know if you can pick this up, but you can, even the slight movement of it, you hear how thin it is mm -hmm. compared to just moving silently. So we, um, <clears throat> We also make Promark. Mm -hmm. So for anybody that doesn't know, Daddario are famous for the 
guitar strings, first and foremost. We also make Evans drum heads. We also make Promark drumsticks. Yeah. So we acquired Promark in 2011. And we're now at this point where we've got a full rebrand happening at the minute. So this is our modern pillar that we are using. And these are a pair of our Rebound 5A. So these are the kind of industry standard set again. And mm -hmm. that is what we wanted to put in the box. We wanted to put a 5A Rebound stick, Acorn tip. These are a limited edition version though. So we've got Barney Beats, um, our little Evans character here. Barney Beats has actually been around for a very long time within, within the Evans brand. I've never seen him. Um, it's kind of a vintage wink back to, you know, Evans, the good old days. Okay. Um, and be it that the company's over 60 years old now, um, you know, we thought we'd bring him back. And it, it kind of works really nicely with the calf tone side of things, yeah. the, the, vintage, the vintage side of it. But yeah, these are our Rebound 5A. So it's a 16 inch length stick. 0.565 of an inch diameter, mm -hmm. acorn tip. This is like the stick that you want to start with. Yeah, you go to everything stick. Exactly. It's it's kind of the, the the tool for most for most people. And again, anybody that's unsure about where to start picking sticks, mm -hmm. it would always be 5A. Difference with these is though they've been kind of rebranded to reflect the Evans um, branding with the white and the and the red on the box. They just look pretty awesome, to be honest. Yeah, they do. They look great. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it matches the whole ethos of this kit. Here's everything you need to get started. Go and explore. That's it. That's exactly it. So then we've also got some uh, little extras, haven't we? Yeah, so within the box set, um, the cost of the set is essentially the bat head, the snare side head, mm -hmm. the wires, and then the additional items, the sticks, and what we're going to find in these other boxes, these are like your bonus items hmm. that come with the box. So in the toolbox, you'll find a tuning key. Now this is just a fairly basic key that will allow you to remove your head very quickly. Hmm. These articulated keys are really great for, for removing heads in a, in a hurry. I would certainly say take your time with this one, but we wanted to provide absolutely everything in the box. So obviously the 101 tool after drumsticks for a drummer is a drum key. Yep. So, and we've all got plenty of them, but we always lose. Them. You always need another. And within the maintenance and the accessory box here, mm -hmm. we've got a couple of interesting items. So, um, we have a microfiber polished cloth. Oh, branded. Yeah, so we, we've produced this for the guitar accessory world for a number of years now, but we wanted one for the drummer. Mm -hmm. um, so, we've got a nice Evans branded microfiber polish cloth. This is great because obviously it looks after any finish on the drums. It's not going to scratch things up. It's also great for, for polishing metal work as well. So yeah. an all around it. And then obviously a towel for wiping the sweat from yeah. your as well. <laughs> I'm just thinking outside the box. A little and uh, glasses. Exactly. A bit of everything. So it's, it's multi-purpose. But to be honest, drummers could do with cleaning the drums a little more. I know I, I'm, I'm guilty, guilty of it. Um, the, <laughs> prob a thing. the problem we have is you play with sticks on a drum, you shred sticks and you end up with sawdust and splinters everywhere. Uh -huh. It's just kind of, you know, the fault. It gets in the places you never think it will get. Yeah, this, this is it. So it's, it's, it's one of those problems us drummers face on a daily basis and keeping your kit clean is, it's, it's a chore. Yeah. But it makes you feel good when you've done it. So yeah. we want to encourage drummers to to clean the drum as well as just change the heads and the and the wires. Yeah. Um, so this is kind of part one of that cleaning process. We've also got within this accessory box some metal polish here. Mm -hmm. So that can be applied to any metal work that just needs a bit of a spruce up. Mm -hmm. Um, it's fairly, fairly self-explanatory, but again, we just want to get drummers into good practice. Just, yeah. you know, these are, these are your instrument. This take is... Take pride in it. Take pride in it, exactly. You know, um, guitarists do the same with guitars. Yeah. It, it almost becomes a ritual. Again, because it's not a primary focus when you first start drumming. Uh -huh. You fall into bad practice, which is not cleaning your drum. Yeah, and then you can, uh, I'm guilty of thinking that that's just the look I like. Yeah. Just thinking I like it like dirty and, and, and <laughs> looking like i around the it. edges, yeah. And now I've only just started cleaning uh, cymbals. Mm -hmm. Makes the world a difference. You take pride when you sit down at it, the kit shines a bit more. That's it. People would want to look at it. 
There's also lug lubricant in there. So I'm not saying that you need to apply this every time that you change a drum head over. Um, because tension rods are moved, um, we, we don't want to over lubricate a tension rod because we're hitting a drum, those tension rods and the, the hardware is vibrating. So we don't want it to work loose. So this is quite a heavy lubricant and it's really just to help for any troublesome um, tension rods and, and uh, inserts on, on drums. So it's not just a beginner problem. It can be a, a higher end drum problem. The lugs can seize up, get a bit stiff. So this is, yeah, this is great. That's it. And, you know, consider many people have their drums stored somewhere, mm. you know, and they might not have touched them um, in a year or two. Yeah. If you're going to be refurbishing a drum, really you want to be taking it apart, you want to be cleaning the metalwork and re-lubricating it just to make sure it's going to perform as best as it can. Mm -hmm. So again, these these are all of those elements that you need to um, to do that with your drum and get your, get your drum kind of match fit, ready to go. Right. The final piece of the puzzle mm -hmm. in the maintenance box is EQ pods. EQ pods are new to the market. Mm -hmm. These are our tone gels that we've been developing over the past couple of years. Um, within this little envelope, you actually get two tone gels. Now, these are an item that will also be sold as a separate tin with seven gels in total. With a snare drum, you really don't need to over Damp. They are quite heavy. You so the, feel yeah, so these gels compared to other tone gels on the market, they've got a lot more weight to them. Mm -hmm. They've got a lot more mass to them. They're also Teflon coated. So it means that you can leave this on your drum, you can put it in a soft case and it won't attract fluff and dust from, oh, from the inside of the cases. Um, but having the two on a snare drum will open up a whole spectrum of sounds. So the idea with the, with these tone gels is you can really fine tune your tone and the resonance of the snare drum. So once we've set up the initial part, so we've done the bat head, the snare side head, we've got the wires, it might be that we're playing in a very resonant room. Mm -hmm. So having a gel on hand just to calm things down is a mm -hmm. great idea. Um, or indeed, you might want to leave the head totally open. Yep. It's very, very subjective from drummer to drummer. So. By having two gels, it gives you the option for a really heavily dampened sound if you want, mm -hmm. but it also gives you the option not to apply them on the drums. And can these be used, I know this is a snare kit, but can these be used on cymbals and percussion? And Absolutely, so multi-purpose. So these can be used on cowbells. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people will dampen cowbells um, out the box. They yeah. just want a more, um, a more controlled sustain to the, the bell. So these, because they're, they're, they're a lot tacky than a lot of the other gels on the market and have a bit more weight to them, they really do dampen um, metallic percussion instruments as well. I actually use one of these on a very heavy ride cymbal. Um, that is, it's great, it's got a lot of attack, but it's a bit too unruly once you get big some energy in it. So uh. by using the uh, the EQ pods on the on the underside, uh, that, that helps it calm it down. And it, like I said, it's, it's, it's a nice introduction into into the gels, like mm -hmm. I said, this is the first time we've we've gotten to market with this type of thing. So yeah. um, we include two within the snare tune-up kit. Fantastic. So Ben's come in today and shown us how to use the Evans tune-up kit to upgrade your snare drum and find your sound easily. I know I've found it extremely useful and I've got two snares at home that are just waiting to be uh, dissected and diagnosed with their problems. Thank you very much for coming to no this. No worries, man, no worries. If you found this video useful and you can see yourself using these tips on your snare drum, then please like and subscribe to the Gift Music Drums YouTube channel. I've been Miles and this has been Ben from Evans. Thank you for watching.